Okay, what's up, YouTube? It's Spacey AI. One more time, I'm about to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. So, I want to talk to you guys about Vidu. Now, Vidu is a platform that I've spoken about before, done multiple videos talking about just the different features that they have, the video generation features, and recently they released Vidu 2.0. So, Vidu 2.0 currently is only an image to video generator. And I was able to compile a few videos and I'm going to show you guys that you can also do reference the video. Now reference the video. What that is, is simply being able to add multiple objects. You can only add up to three objects or persons within the scene, and then it will create a video based on the different pictures of objects. You can also add a prompt to guide the video, but what I'm going to be focusing mainly on is image to video. And all that is, is just, you can add the beginning frame as well as the ending frame. And it's pretty cool. You describe exactly what you want. I only added the beginning frame and these are some of the videos that I generated. So I kind of want to go through these and kind of show you what I was able to get from Vidu up to this point. So the first video is this one. Now, let me try to expand this. So as you can see, this was a generation I did and you obviously see the prompt of what I was trying to generate. Slow motion as the protagonist walks off a jet, adjusting his shades. The camera pans over the jet and the cards as he smirks at the camera. So that's what that is. And that's image to video, as I said earlier. And obviously this is good, but there is still some morphing. And I'll, I'm going to be doing a video on Kling 1.6 because I think Kling 1.6 right now as we speak is the best video generator out there. No doubt is very consistent and is able to get a lot of these things, right? Other video generators still struggle with interacting with objects. Obviously he's interacting with his glasses right there. We see that there is some morphing with the hand. So that's not good. Introducing Ninja chat. So Ninja chat is a platform that allows you to use multiple different AI models to do different tasks. It integrates multiple AI models into one. So you don't have to play, pay for each of these AI models separately. It does give you some credits. So if you start with the basic plan, you get about a thousand credits per month and that equals a thousand messages. You also get 30 image generations per month. So if we look at some of the features, so we have the AI playground and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. We also have AI images chat with PDF, writing library, and then we have the different AI models you can use. So you have the chat GPT, you have Claude, you have Llama, Perplexity, Gemini, and your favorite, Grok. When you go to the writing library, we have some different tools that we can actually use to improve our writing. Another very cool feature is chatting with PDF. So you can actually chat with your PDF, upload a PDF right here, ask it questions, and get answers. There are two image generation models. So you have stable diffusion three and you have the newest flux AI pro model. And then finally you have the AI playground, which is a feature that allows you to compare prompts from the different models that are on the platform. So if I decide to ask the question, let's say I say, give me a breakdown it will write out the response for each of these models and then i can compare the response and determine which one i think is great so definitely check this out ninja chat link is in the description to this one this is another generation i did generate two videos for this one so i can play both of these so you guys can see so this is the first one all the prompt is saying is that the boy walks in the woods so the Kid is obviously walking and to some degree, this is okay. We do see a little bit of morphing there, but to some degree, this one is okay. It's not too bad. This one is obviously not what we're looking for. He's walking backwards. I didn't say to walk backwards. I told him to walk, but obviously I would think that it would recognize based on the image. It's ascending the character backwards when I said I wanted to walk forwards, but that's what we got right there. Now this is another generation. So as you guys can see, not bad, but again, not able to really fully keep the fingers consistent. There's a lot of morphing going on with the fingers right there. 
just not able to keep the fingers consistent. And that is a problem for Vidu. We see that with a ton of video generators, and this is no different for Vidu. We're going to go to this one. Now, this is just the ability to have context awareness and recognizing what's really going on. It's just not able to recognize that this is a pot and you want to flip this pancake. And essentially, this is just a frame within the shot. And video is just not able to do that. A lot of video generators may not be able to do this. So I don't think this is something that was unexpected, but just wanted to point that out. Now, this one is a very simple generation. Didn't really do too much with this one. And this is okay because I made sure it was simple. I didn't really demand much from the generator right here. A uh, woman in her late twenties in a plush sofa with a blanket over her lap. She holds a hand cover book flips through the pages slowly and pause to think and sips on a streaming cup of tea on the side of the table. Now we don't see that part of it. Obviously she, she didn't sip on the tea, but we do see the tea right there. And this is okay, I guess. It's obviously not a lot of demand, so it's expected to get this right. And then this is another one. So she's just doing yoga. So let's see how this goes. As you can see, this is not bad. It did request that she would do a prayer pose and she did it. So that's cool. She did a prayer pose at the end. So that is what was expected. However, we do see some morphing with the hands. The feet are a little bit. Now this may be coming from the image generator itself. So again, not really the fault of Vidu, but we do see that there's some problems with the feet as well. The hands had some morphing. But that is that. Now we have another one, a middle-aged woman watering some plants. So as you can see right here, she's watering the plants. And yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. We do see that whatever she was using to water the plants obviously disappeared. Uh, she probably was using a little bottle or something like that, but it just disappeared in her hands. But for the most part, this is not a bad generation, to be honest with you, compared to other things that I've seen with video generators. I mean, this is pretty decent. So I will give Vidu props. And then finally, young man prepares coffee in the modern kitchen. So. So that's that. And obviously whatever he was using to pour the coffee out just completely crushes up in his hand. I don't know what happened there. That's pretty weird, but I mean, to. For the most part, he was able to pour the coffee in. We didn't really see much change in the amount of coffee that ended up in the cup. So that's something to pay attention to. And obviously just the morphing with the fingers and the jug or whatever that he's holding, that's just not good. So that's pretty much what we got with Vidu 2. I tried to generate different types of images to kind of give you a spectrum of how it handles different prompts and different images. Currently right now, there is no text and video for video 2.0. Not sure when that's going to be released. It would be cool to try out the text and video as well. I think that would be dope. But let me know what you guys think so far. If you guys try this platform out, obviously this is one of the contenders for video generation and AI. This is one of the main contenders. And we do have a lot of platforms vying for this position right now. I mean, we have so many platforms going on and we even have open source platforms that you can actually run on your machine, which is really, really dope. So definitely this is a space that is expanding, ever expanding space. And it's definitely exciting times for the future. But let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. Pace your ass on now. I'll be putting out more videos like this in the future, but have a great day. Pace your ass on now. Peace.